In this video you will learn what is the difference between a tornado and a cyclone separator. Comparing a tornado with a cyclone separator, both form a vortex which is a whirling mass of air or fluid spinning up to 100 km per hour. The heavy particles move towards the edge of the tornado until it flies out. Using this phenomenon we can apply this to a cyclone separator to separate large particles from the gas flow. The dust-laden air enters from the side and is forced into a spinning spiral along the outer wall of the cylinder. As this downward flow reaches the conical section, the air velocity increases due to the narrowing diameter of the cyclone. This centrifugal force pushes more particles toward the wall which allows even more separation between the gas and particles. By the time the air reaches the bottom of the cone, it reverses direction and begins to move upward in a tight spiral along the central axis. This creates a cleaner inner vortex that moves up through the center of the outer, downward-moving vortex. The cyclone is made up of four main parts. The top section is known as the feed box where the gas enters tangentially and forms a vortex. This is because the gas follows the curvature of the cyclone. The middle section is known as the cone section, where the swirling motion really develops, it narrows the flow which forces the heavier particles held in the gas to move outwards towards the walls. When the particles hit the walls it slows down in velocity and drops to the bottom section of the cyclone known as the particle chamber. The collected particles in the particle chamber is periodically discharged, while the clean air spirals back up through the middle and exits at the vortex finder at the top. The vortex finder is the top cylindrical outlet where the clean gas vortex leaves the cyclone. Please make sure to subscribe, like and share this video if you enjoyed it.